Hello everybody, so today I wanted to talk to you about, uh, I'm a bit far away, so I wanted to talk to you about a couple of paintings uh, that are ongoing and also about a little bit about the approach. So I've been mentioning for a while about my uh, explorations of the landscape and I'm working, unusually for me actually, I'm working on a couple of canvases at the moment and uh, these canvases, I'll talk to you about the, 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 you know, the paintings on them in a minute, but uh, they're quite large, 80 centimetre square canvases. And I've got a couple on the go, and I'm going to add another one to uh, those two, uh, because they're all about something relatively similar. So I wanted to just to talk to you about these uh, images on the wall here in the Constantina. So part of my work on the winter moor, about the winter moors has been done from a distance because it's not been possible, it's a bit, that's ironic, isn't it, me at a distance, uh, it's not been possible to get actually physically onto uh, some of the moors. So I've been doing uh, quite a few studies uh, relatively close to where I live. So I have the kind of the view of the moors, if you like. And it, it's quite interesting because on the one hand, you feel you can almost touch them and you can see textural detail and so on. And on the other hand, they seem like far away because you're not able to physically be actually standing on the moors. So there's that kind of interesting kind of juxtaposition. So these, these uh, pieces were either done actually outside on location, observing the moors from a distance, or they were done back in the studio, creating studies from the studies. And this Constantina here was all uh, created actually on location. Um, looking at uh, the moors from a distance um, and I'll share with you some close-ups of those so you can see them better. So what I wanted to, to talk to you about was um, I'm actually doing uh, a number of paintings not just these about the winter moors and I'm doing another group that are about um, memory and from based on studies that I did before the pandemic hit in the previous winter um, so those ones are actually about physically being on the moor, about being on Marsden Moor. But these ones are about that sort of from a distance, glimpses if you like, from residential streets of the moors in the distance. Um, and I started to, so this is one and this is one. And these are, these have been uh, gessoed canvas, so I've done two coats of gesso. And then I've done a couple of uh, layers of paint, acrylic paint. And then these, as you see them, have just had collage added to them, but that collage has not been integrated. So they probably look a little bit strange in the sense they almost look like scones on a plate because the next stage is for me to put paint on, oh, paint on these and to integrate the collage uh, into them. And this one here, I've just literally gessoed, it's got, it's dry now, it's had two coats of gesso uh, and I'm going to, in a minute, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you that sort of first stage. So
So here is the concertina of the winter moors that you saw all propped up. So I'm sorry about my dirty fingers, but I've just been painting. So I just thought I'd give you a quick leaf through, very loose, very, um, you know, sort of immediate in response. Uh, I've used a variety of things. This is using indigo pastel, um, pencil. Uh, sometimes it was snowing, sometimes it wasn't. So they were very immediate uh, pieces. Uh, that's oil pastel. This has got inks in it as well. So sometimes, as I say, it was actually quite rich in colour in the winter, but other times um, it was quite bleak. And I just use these in addition to my other um, drawings that I do out on location and studies as a sort of inspiration when I'm painting. Hi, so this is the one I had on the floor, uh, just doing the first layer of. And now what I've done is I've just hung it on the wall so I can see better. And it's a little bit drier now. And I've just been spraying it to fix uh, the uh, water-soluble uh, pencils and things that I had on there. I just do that so that when I add the additional layers of collage and paint, it doesn't just all smudge. And you kind of have to be a bit careful and sometimes it kind of doesn't work so well, but I've done it with the other two that have got the collage on. So I'm hopeful that I can do it with this one. And now what I'm looking at is whether or not uh, the uh, colours are working and just sort of comparing it really to the other two, which is a little bit tricky. The one behind me and then there's another one. Uh, down on the floor down there. Um, it's a little bit tricky to just um, compare at the moment because this one, this new one, doesn't have the collage on. So I'm probably going to work on the collage on that one before adjusting anything. But it has made me really think about now I'm going to add paint to the other two now to really be mindful of um, the colours that I'm using because I don't want to push it into a feeling of, of spring. I want it to have that winter feeling. So I'm going to have to really um, be mindful of uh, the drawings and studies that I've done that you can just see probably in the background there um, and the uh, Constantine. I've got to be a bit mindful of those and what they're telling me about that feel of winter because I don't want to kind of muddy the waters really. So we'll see how that where that takes me. So here I am starting to work over the collage of one of the two pieces that I showed you at the beginning. And I'm using quite a lot, I'm trying to clarify the uh, values, the, the darks and the lights. And so, and I'm also trying to give that feeling of the winter more. So I'm using quite a light coloured paint. Um, it's not white, it has uh, some yellow in it, but it's uh, quite light and it's... Uh, the purpose is really, as I say, to clarify and to start integrating the collage pieces in. So I'm starting with that and then you'll see me work in some other things as well. So this is more of the, it's got more yellow in it and this, the, the paint. And I'm using a variety of different brushes and I'm using a trowel as well um, and scrapers and so on. Uh, and also cloths and things as well. So I'm trying to get a, a kind of an integration and so I'm using a variety of things. Now I'm coming in using the dark. Uh, I've got using quite a lot of indigo in this, uh, indigo colour in, in this uh, painting, in, in, in all three of them actually. Uh, I'm using that as my darkest dark really. And some of the lines are actually uh, pencil and water soluble pencils and some of it is paint uh, done uh, in various ways and I'll often, you see me turn the brushes over, I'm often using the end of the brush to kind of scrape in as well so I'm trying to kind of create uh, a depth of texture as well and of layering. And hopefully you can start to see that by doing this I'm kind of starting to clarify so that you can see the woods for the trees, so to speak, a little bit better. Although this is only the first layer after collage, so there'll be uh, more paint added. I'm trying not to overdo it at this layer because I don't want to kind of cover over all of the collage because that would kind of defeat the object really. Although inevitably quite a bit does get covered over in the process. And you kind of, I kind of don't start with the end in mind. I'm just 
working at it as I go and as I see things. So I'm just kind of acting and then responding really, if that makes sense. You can see me using the pencil here again. I'm very fond of, of doing a kind of a contour kind of approach with my line work, as well as with a rigor brush. I'm adding more orange up here. I'm trying to integrate some of those my rather harsh pieces of collage into that kind of feeling of the orange. And that colour actually comes from the sky in the winter. When I was looking across at the moors, there was often these beautiful orange skies. So that has been the inspiration really for, for using that colour. I'm trying to get contrast. So where I've got the wishy-washy on the right, trying to get more of an opaqueness on the left, at least at this point in time. And this is where I'm using the trowel. So I just thought I'd end by sharing a little bit more close up of the work I was doing with the paint on top of the collage, just so that you can see where it's up to. And I was paying particular attention not to overdo it in terms of covering up, but I wanted to really start the process of integration of the collage into uh, the uh, overall piece. So I hope you can see that. So thank you very much for watching and please do like and subscribe if you aren't already. And I just wanted to mention that in the notes for this uh, video, as last week, uh, I have a link to uh, a new course I'm currently developing uh, and will be ready soon uh, for purchase. But at the moment you can go on and look in a little bit more detail through the link at what the course is about and you can do a free lesson, which is about collage. So thanks again and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.